OK, so let's introduce the idea of charges. If I take this piece of plastic and bring it near the papers on the table, these little bits of paper, nothing seems to happen. But if I give the plastic a good rub, or polishing first, and then try it, you can see the paper jumps about. And in fact, it's possible to pick up the paper. Okay, so if this video is successful, we'll be able to, or you'll be able to explain and understand why this happens. Okay, so an experiment you'd probably be asked to do in the classroom would be you take a polythene rod, you rub it with a cloth, um, and then it gets this magical property, the ability to pick up paper or do all these weird things. And uh, when people, you know, first started doing this kind of stuff, they had to think of a name for it. So what's happened to the rod? It suddenly gain these magical powers, it's become charged. And charge was a suitable name, you know, and it works. It's, it's, you know. So this thing has gained this charge. Um, one of the other experiments you might do is you get another uh, polythene rod and charge that as well. You give it a rub and uh, try bringing them together and see what happens. You suspend uh, the one rod from a string, you bring the other polythene rod along and you get repulsion. They don't want to be next to each other. Another experiment, that's not the whole story, you may take another type of material like polystyrene, rub that also, and try bringing them to get together, and what you get is attraction. So it seems that there's two types of charge. Right, so what's needed is further investigation. If you bring two polythene rods together, as before, we find that you get repulsion. But the same is also true of two charged polythene rods, they will also repel. Swapping these around, as long as they're all charged, in this case, you'll get attraction and attraction. So we need a model to explain this. And um, the model, basically, or the explanation, is that stuff is made of two types of stuff, positive and negative. It gets a bit confusing to say stuff is made of stuff. So we call the stuff that's positive and negative charge. So stuff is made of positive and negative charges. Um, now, normally, stuff, for instance, this cloth, has got maybe uh, 10 positive charges and 10 negative charges, and they're cancelling each other out, and it has no effect, so we don't need to draw it or think about it. But, when you rub materials against each other, particularly when they're different types of materials, and they're insulators in the electrical sense, um, one material may hold on better to the negative charges than the other. The negative charges are actually electrons. <clears throat> so, let's say we rub these two materials together, okay? The cloth holds on better to the electrons or the negative charges than the polystyrene rod, so it collects the electrons, leaving the polystyrene rod positively charged and the cloth negatively charged. Now, in this case, you'd find that the polystyrene rod would be sticking to the cloth, and that's because the positive charges are attracted to the negative charges. You could do another experiment where you get two polystyrene rods and you'd find that if you charge them both they would repel each other. Um, and you may even get poly, uh, polythene and you'd find that that actually becomes negatively charged. It takes electrons off the cloth and you get the whole scenario of the situation we saw before. Um, so to finish the explanation we say that this stuff that we call charge, um, that like charges repel each other and dislike charges attract each other and this does a good job of explaining the phenomenon we see. So let's go and have a look at some more phenomenon uh, to do with charge. Okay so this is a really useful simulation created by uh, Colorado University. I'll put a link in uh, the description bar uh, where to find it. Uh, we have a balloon that doesn't quite behave as you'd expect it to but um, <coughs> we can take the balloon and rub it on this animal fibre um, shirt and you'll see that it's now sticking to the shirt but weirdly it also sticks to the wall okay so we need to be able to explain this um, I'm going to reset the simulation now and show charges so you can see the charges now now if I rub the balloon you can see that it's obviously got a greater electron affinity um, than the the jumper, it's able to hold on to the electrons better, so it's now become negatively charged. 
and the uh, jumper is still positively charged, it's left positively charged. But if I bring the balloon over, notice what happens to the negative charges in the wall. The negative charges can move, they're mobile, and they're repelled by the balloon, leaving a patch of the wall that is positively charged. If I was to attach a conducting wire to the wall now, these negative charges, some of them would be able to escape. If I then cut the wire and move the balloon back away, the wall would have lost some of the electrons and would be positively charged. This is called charging by induction. And in a way, it's similar to what happened to when we picked up the paper at the beginning of the video. Imagine the bits of paper were on the table, and this is the table. As I brought the um, charged object over, electrons on the paper would have been able to jump off onto the table, leaving the paper positively charged and uh, being attracted to the balloon or the uh, the um, uh, well, I had a piece of plastic basically. Okay, so that's charging by induction, and we're going to look at an exam question from the IGCSE exams, uh, which asks exactly that type of question now. Okay, so if you pause the video to read the qu read the question, maybe you can have an attempt. Okay, so if you've read the question, it says describe how the metal plate may be charged by induction, and here is the metal plate. It's on an insulator, and you've got this positively charged plastic rod, and you've got an, a lead connect connected to earth. Now if you brought the positively charged rod towards the metal plate, it would attract electrons, negative charges would move towards the positive plate. So if you brought it towards this end of the, pos uh, of the metal plate, and then you touched the earth lead against it, negative charges from the earth could flow onto the plate, and then if you remove the earth lead, uh, those negative charges would be trapped on the plate. Uh, then you could take the charge right away and you'd be away. So if you want to read that answer, here it is. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share.